Okay. Uh, back here again. So, I, uh, you miss me? Yeah? <laughs> Absolutely, yes. So, here we, are, here we are again for my presentation about the user manager. It's a free radio server for wireless, for hotspots, PPP users, and the HEP. So, this is why I call with a short name like user manager playbook. So, I will jump for you all this part, yes. Uh, here we can start. The user manager, it's an additional package for Radar OS and it's a powerful radio server that can be used for managing authentication for the hotspot, the PPP, for Radar OS users, for the wireless clients, and for the DHCP clients against a DHCP server. And it's free. Why I prepared this presentation? Because during trainings, usually students ask me about info or suggestion on which radio server to use. And the user manager is not well known. This is, this is a fact. But there are reasons for not to use a radius included in Radar OS N for free. Let's check. It's also not well known where Radar OS can ask authentication to a radio servers. Yes, everyone knows that Hotspot and PPP can use a radius for making authentication, but is not well known that can authenticate Radar OS users, so the access to the router, the wireless clients, and also into the Capsman, and into the DHCP server. And the question is, how many are you using the user manager? One, just two, three, <laughs> four, few. So, Yes, I agree that user manager is not a corporate radius. Yes, it's a simple product, but it's free and it's inside any Radar OS device like this one. Can run radius? Yes. Can run user manager? Yes. That's it. It's a fact. I am running here a user manager inside a map powered on by a USB. This is not a full presentation about the user manager because it will take hours, uh, will be boring with a lot of things to see. It's just a playbook to be used in conjunction with the wiki. So with the wiki and my slides with some tricks that uh, I made to avoid uh, common mistakes, yes, you can use with success the user manager in a lot of environment. You can also check the wiki for all the manuals and you can take an user management training classes from a trainer. And I was, uh, I don't know why, maybe because I was lucky, I was one in the world that spread the user management to the other trainers in the world. I don't know why, but happened this way. So, the user manager is a radio server. Nothing less, nothing more. Radius mean for remote authentication, dial-in user services. Was designed in the 80s, I remember and uh, was a uh, success uh, protocols after the TACAX, uh, Uno TACAX or TACAX Plus, yes, one, two, three, four, okay. Yes, when I start with my Cisco access concentrator, yes, I had one. I had the TACAX server for managing central authentication for dial-in users. And only then, after a few years, we have new protocol of radius. It's a network protocol that provides centralized 
authentication, authorization and accounting. It's called also AAA or triple A. And the radius packets from a client to the radio servers use UDP packets. Radio server is uh, useful to manage centralized authentication. What does it mean? From one central radius, you can manage authentication, authorization and accounting, triple A, in many routers, one on 100 or 1000, and doesn't mean, it doesn't matter, sorry, if they are in the neighborhood or they are in to another part of the world. It's just a, a server that authenticate, provide authentication. This way, a client has to a radius the authentication, providing the credential that was gained from the users. The users provide username and password for any services, it doesn't matter what. The radius client ask at the radio server they can have access it's a question using this username and password the radius will reply with yes accept yes reject and will pass a lot of parameters one or ten or twenty it depends exists a dictionary that you can control you can check for make a lot of implementation you can pass a lot of parameters to create custom services for your needs rather OS have a radius client that it's included into the system so you don't have to add optional packages or special licenses it's included in the system can ask authentication at any standard radius server. So, like user manager or like uh, free radius uh, or other radius on the market. And also, the radius client is free, of course. He is, this is the radius client. It's on the main menu, there is radius button. You can add more than one radius client into your router OS. Why? Because you can add different radio servers for each services that you want to authenticate, or you can add more than one server for having redundant radio servers to ask authorization for. So, for each radio client, you can specify the services that you want to use with this server for authenticate. This is a bad example for you because usually a single radio server it's used for a single services. This is just a practical version. But can exist this way, yes, of course, but it's unusual. The address of the radio server in this example I use the localhost address because I'm using the cl radius client into this small router and I have the user manager, the radio server, into the same machine. So this client are asking radius query to the local machine. And a secret. A radius requires a secret password to authenticate the request. So no others clients uh, without the correct pre-shared key can make query. The ports that are standard, you can set up and customize the timeout. So if the, the, the radius does not reply in this time, we'll ask to the next one and so on. And this uh, rule of thumb that usually we forget is that Radar OS will use the local user database first and only then 
if no user match any records will ask to a reduce server if was set of course if i have to authenticate a user that exists in local user database for example the for hotspot i will use a reduce for authenticate customers but if i write a username on the secrets into my hotspot Rodriguez will check first this user and if exists will use this user without asking to a radius. So it's nice to play with these two databases because you will have an admin local account, of course, and the others for remote, but you have to be careful when you migrate from local to radius because you have to remove the users from local database. Where is the user manager? You have to manually install this optional package. You have to download the old package's zip file from Microtik. You have to take the user manager package, drag into file, reboot, and only then you will have the user manager running. It's not included into the default package. The requirements are very, very minimal, only 32 meg RAM and 2 meg of free space, so today any device can run the radio server user manager. We work also on any x86 or cloud-hosted router also. And these are the products that I like, the smallest one, that you can it have a, a magnet, you know, you can attach into any iron surface, into a rack, on fridge, or your car, any place you like. And about the licensing, the user manager is free, but have different limitations depending on your other OS license level. So, work on layer 3, on the CPE also, on the small devices, layer 3, but support only 10 active sessions. Layer 4, like this one, support 20 concurrent active section, sessions. Layer 5, 50. Layer 6, unlimited. And have a web interface. This is a web interface of the user manager and it's different address and different managing. Everything is different because the address is the IP address of the router and with slash user man. This is the difference. Obviously, the IP in IP services, you should enable uh, WWW services or you will not able to reach this interface. This is the main menu, and I will not explain you everything. Routers, you can set up all the routers managed by this radio server. So if you are adding routers, you have to add every routers here. And I will play with my browser. This is my map on the routers. You can add, it's a very, very simple interface. All your routers you want, you can manage them. A name for this router, the IP address of the routers, the shared secrets, and that's it. You have the users, that are the users that will authenticate using the radius. And the common mistake that I have a special slide is to mess up between users and customers because customers are the administrators of the user manager, the one that log in into user manager. The session, the active sessions that you can see when connected, the logs, the interface for with people, for example. 
profiles that I will show you later. Profiles and limitations. They are mandatory. It's the first thing you have to do into a user manager configuration. Global settings. You can also translate using a text file in your language, in any language. Reports, active sessions, active users and search. And here you can back up the database for maintenance or for special purpose or the restore. But it's a very, very easy to manage. And we have also the command line interface. So from inside the Roder OS, under tool user manager, you can manage the customer, database, history, log, payment, profiles, router, session, users, and you can back up everything because the user manager is separate from Roder OS. No users in common, no configuration in common. So if you want to export the configuration of the user manager, you have to export inside tool user manager and you can export all the config of the user manager only. And here on the wiki you can find almost all the settings of the user manager. It's very easy to follow to deploy the first one. And now some tips of experience. The first thing you have to do is to change the user manager default password because as I said to you before there are not nothing in common with Roder OS users and anything. So the default user is admin with no password. The first thing you have to do is to change or to set up a password for the admin user or to create a new different one. I told you that. You have to add the routers to be managed. And the first thing after that is to create profiles and limitations before adding user because every user should be into a profile. So we have a first to create a profile. That's it. It's a, one of the common mistakes. I start to adding users and obtain errors. Users are the one that will authenticate and customer the administrators only. Services that can be managed through a user manager or any radius. PPP services is one of the most common. Into the PPP secrets, there is this button, PPP authentication and accounting. Pushing this button, you can enable the radius to be query for all the PPP services. In this way, you can manage authentication and accounting for PPPoE clients, PPPTP, RTTP, OpenVPN, SSTP. Any PPP secrets can be authenticated through a radio servers like User Manager. This way, you can easily manage any VPN authentication via and by one radio server. It's a centralized management of VPN servers. Remember that when a Radius reply to the Radius client with few attributes, they will override the settings into the profile of Radar OS. For example, I'm using a PPP profile for a PPPoE or L2TP, PPTP, SSTP, it doesn't matter. And you have to use a profile for this kind of service. In this example, I set up a limit to max upload and unload. But if a user log into the, this PPP service authenticated by user manager or any radius and this radius have in the profile the limits of 
one meg, one meg, I show you. Sorry, I forgot to do that for you. This is the limit set up into the PPP profile. But into the user manager, I set up one meg, one meg. This user will obtain this speed, the one that the radius reply. If the radius will not reply with any speed limitation, the clients will use this one. Is clear the, the, the logic of work? Yes. And into the profile, into the limitation, sorry, into the user manager, here at the bottom, what you have? You have some constraint, okay? Group name, IP pool, address list. So, depend on the services, you can provide an IP pool name attributes into the radius reply, or an address list name where to put the IP address provided by the radius, or the group. The group can assume two functions, different functions. For the router OS users that we, we will see later, it's uh, the user group name where to path this user. Or profile for the hotspot users. After PPP, the second common is for hotspot services. You can enable the radius to be used into hotspot server profile radius tab use radius in lot of radius client you can also specify location id the mac format this is sorry i don't know why mac format you can sell it between a uh, pull down menu, the format of the MAC address depending on the radius server. Any radius server may be accept different format and you can choose which one you want. With uh, a radius or user manager, you can easily manage a lot of hotspot with just one user database and this is a centralized management for hotspot servers. This is one of my favorite Radius client application. The authentication of Radio OS users using a Radius or user manager. And now I have a, a question for you. Do you think it will be possible to disconnect a Radio OS user for Wim, from Winbox or Klee, for example? I'm, I logged into my router, I see me with admin, a, a strange user connected. Can you disconnect this user? Raise your hands. No one? No. Yes, you're right. No. Once connected, there is no kill button, no minus button. When, when I, once a user was connected, was impossible to disconnect it. Yes, you can try to force uh, the disconnection using the firewall, dropping the packet uh, against the, this IP address, yes, but you can't just disconnect. But you can using the radius. The radius client into Radar OS support the radius incoming or COA into the radius client incoming button, you can enable the radius incoming and the port. And the radius server should support the same function like user manager did. When set up a router, radius incoming, COA support and the port name. And that's it. In this way, 
the client, I will jump back, will accept incoming commands sent by a radio server or user manager. So if you want to disconnect any user's type from user manager or any radio server, you can just select an active session, right click and close session. That's it. You don't have to connect or to log in into Winbox, into the router. This is one of the most advantage using a radius. For enable Radio OS user authentication, you have to go into the users, you have the button AAA, and then enable use radius. This is a great implementation for anyone that manage a network to put into the routers physical uh, rather less users just for use in case of emer in emergency and all the others technician authenticated by radius so if you one day you will change an employers you have just to close the account and that's it if you want to change the password for one of your technician, you have just to change the password into the radio server and and that's it. DHCP server is one of the less used application of a radius because it's possible to use the radius for managing DHCP server leases. So you can manage DNS servers in a centralized mode. You have to enable into the DHCP server use radius at the end of the, the box. In this case, each time a layer 2 device try to request an IP address at this DHCP server, he try to ask to a radio server passing not username and password, but the MAC address. This is the interface into the user manager. And I create a user for DHCP server, putting into the username the, IP, the MAC address of the layer 2 device. And the IP address that, if static, the IP address that I want to provide at him, for example. If there is a pool, you don't have to fill this file. This is a static assignment, static lease made by radio server. And the last one service is wireless clients. It's possible to use the radius or the user manager for managing wireless clients connecting to any access point and with central management we work against access list. Remember that in any case, Rider OS will look first into local user database. In this case is the access list. First we'll check into the access list. Then if setup will ask to a radius. And it will be possible to disconnect any wireless client if the incoming was enabled from the radio server without logging into a single, single access points. Into the security profile, into Winbox, there is a radius tab and Mac authentication into the Mac. Into the user manager, like DHCP, you have just to put username as MAC address of the wireless clients that you have to authenticate. But it's not finished there because you can also specify opening these windows wireless. You can have different attributes to reply. For example, you can ask, you can enable for these wireless clients this special pressure the key with this encryption algorithm. So in this case you will accept this wireless encryption 
instead of the one specified into the wireless profile, security profile. And also in the capsman. So if you are using the capsman, I will jump back, you will not use the access list using the capsman because the capsman have its own access list and you can use the a radio server to manage authentication of wireless station against a P managed by a capsman and will be possible to disconnect them by the radius. Set up a rule into an access list into the capsman. So here we are into the capsman access list. We have to create a rules and this create different scenario because you can have a lot of rules and then these rules maybe you have you want to check different things and only at the end just for example you can create an action that the result the action is query radius so you can do a lot of things and then query radius So, all the function and this power of Radio OS can be run into smart devices also. Obviously, you can't compare uh, the user manager to enterprise radio server, of course. Remember that Radio OS can fit less devices and they can run hotspot, OSPF, MPLS, BGP and the user manager. This is awesome. Only this brand can do that. And this is a picture that I shot uh, the previous mom in uh, Dallas. <laughs> yes, it was running, <laughs> was live running at the IP architect stand. They made these interesting labs. It's wor the world's smallest MPLS ISP. Yes and was running, it's, it's incredible. I hope you enjoyed my presentation and from today you will start to increase the use of the user manager that is included and it's free. It's fabulous for a small application for Chrome. More than before. Thank you. Any question? Easy. Yes, one. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. I will send them and they will, they will publish uh, in a few days, yes, into the MAM website. So, thank you. Okay, so lunch time. So lunch will happen uh, the same area when the hotel breakfast on opposite side of the registration of the hotel. So see you back in uh, one and a half hour for the next presentation. <laughs>